tons of equipment has come through my basement and garage home gym this year. And today I'm going over my top five home gym purchases of 2023. The No Fake Channel, checking in. Jonathan here, and I know it just turned 2023, Happy but it's a lot better for the algorithm and a lot cooler for the thumbnail if I say I'm going over my top five home gym purchases of 2023 rather than 2022. So here it is. Obviously, if you've watched my channel before, you know every week I review copious amounts of home gym equipment, and a lot of stuff this year has come through this home gym. But what are my top five? Well, we're going to get into it. But before we do, I want you to comment down below the, your top five home gym purchases that you encountered this year. And while you're down there, hey, give the video a like, hit the subscribe button. Chop, chop, lollipop. Number five, yep, we're going in reverse to keep you watching all the way to the end, and that is Micro Gains Change Plates. So they have them in straight up black, and they have them in these pimped out colored editions, and I will tell you that you are gonna use them a lot more than you realize. What are they? They are simply weights from one pound all the way down to a quarter of a pound to help you break through plateaus in your training. Now I know you go on Instagram and you brag to all your friends that you only add on 25 pounds or more at a time. But the reality is most of us kind of need those plateau breakers. We need to be smart about adding weight so that our egos don't write a check that our muscles can't cash. Nobody wants to get to snap city. And micro gains is something that not only do I love, I obviously picked up a second pair because I wanted the colored edition, but it's something that I use often. And by often, I mean, Honestly, almost every workout. Oftentimes when I'm training, I wanna go up in weight. My mind tells me that I should be going heavier on the next set, but my body has other intentions and my rep scheme shows that I probably shouldn't be adding any weight at all. And it allows me to just slap something like this, which is only one pound, or even go down to something that is as low as a quarter of a pound, feel like I'm getting those plateau breakers, feel like I'm making progress because I am, but not necessarily breaking my back. Two more benefits that are key to home gym owners is that number one, they don't cost a lot. An entire set I think goes for about $50. And number two, they don't take up much space whatsoever. They're actually light enough that I can throw them right on my wall control pegboard if I want to. Number four is going to be my customized Pioneer Dip Belt. Now, for my longtime subscribers know I love weighted pull-ups, and the quickest and easiest way to tack on weight during those pull-ups is with a dip belt. Now, there's tons of dip belts out there, ranging from $10 and up, and they're a dime a dozen. So why did I pick the Pioneer one? Number one, made in the US of A, and if you just get this without any customization, it comes in at $70 and has a lifetime warranty. Number two is the chain. It has one of the longest chains out there in terms of a dip belt. And I asked specifically that they do not connect both ends. Typically with the dip belt, you're gonna have one, one end that is gonna be physically connected permanently on here. And I asked that they not do that. And of course, Pioneer does tons of customization and take tons of specialized requests. So it wasn't a problem. And third and last but not least is the customization. Obviously you can go and buy a generic dip belt, but when you have a home gym, you kind of want to make something special. You want to make it your own. You want that forever piece of equipment that is a one-off, a one-of-a-kind, and that's what this is. Number three is going to be something that is in fact not really considered gym equipment, but it answers the biggest problem that we have as home gym owners, and that is how to manage space. In a home gym environment, space is the final frontier. It is the one thing that they're not making any more of, and it's one thing that is very limited, and you need to use it wisely. Even if you have a lot of it, it will fill up quickly. So what number three on my list is going to be wall control. Now, these pegboards are metal, and they are fantastic. They're so good that I got some, loved them so much, I went out and bought some more. It allows me to fully utilize the wall, and as I've often said when it comes to space, you want to build up. You want to use as much headroom as you can in your home gym to maximize the volume that you're occupying rather than just cluttering up the floor, and that's what wall control does. Now, the only problem with this is that Two panels by themselves cost about $55, but the nice thing is once you get them, there's nothing to rot, there's nothing to go bad, and you have them forever. 
Number two, getting down to the wire, and that is my safety squat bar. For many of us, especially as we age, we get those aches and pains, and certain exercises really aggravate us. For me, I've got a herniated disc, and whenever I squat with the barbell, OMG, I feel my age. I feel it in my lower back. I feel it in my shoulders and in my wrists. And one of the nice things about the safety squat bar is that it allows you to stay in the fight. It allows you to keep squatting without banging up your body. What a safety squat bar does, for those of you who don't know, it actually is padded. It takes the pressure off of your shoulders. It puts your hands in front in a neutral position so there's no strain on your wrist. And the weight of the bar is actually a little bit, the center of the weight is actually a little bit forward allowing to take a little bit of stress off your lower back when you're squatting. So why did I pick the Rep Fitness Safety Squat Bar out of all of them? Well, it comes in at $330, which is a fantastic price. It checks off all the boxes. The pad is firm. It's one complete unit. It has hard chrome sleeves, so they're not going to get banged up and worn out right off the bat. They're going to last. And the handles are fully knurled and unfortunately unmatched in the business, so to speak, because they just feel so goddamn good. And the number one piece of home gym equipment in 2023 is honestly one that I was completely wrong about when I did the review. It happens, but I gotta be honest and I gotta own up to it now. So drum roll. Please, the number one piece of equipment I bought in 2023 is the AB4100 adjustable bench from Rep Fitness. Now, it is an adjustable bench, but why do I like this bench over so much of the other stuff that I've gotten in and reviewed? because of the Goldilocks zone. That's right where this one sits, in the sweet spot. It comes in with all the bells and whistles you need. It's perfect for my height at 6'1", does everything that I want. It stands up on its own, which means it saves a ton of space. And it has a $400 price point, which is high, but not for what they deliver. And you can get it in a whole bunch of colors. And oh yeah, they added a whole bunch of extra colors to give you that incentive to buy it. When I first did the review, I kind of hinted that the AB5200 would be a better purchase because it's $100 more, it's longer, it's a bit beefier, a bit more stable, but over the use of the year, guess what? I've been using that 4100 a lot more often because I can pick it up with one hand and move it around willy-nilly and it gets the job done and it doesn't necessarily take up nearly as much space as the 5200. I want to know from you, comment down below your top five purchases of 2022 for home gym equipment. Which ones do I absolutely need to review? Which ones can you not live without? I'm always curious what you're using for your home gym equipment and your programming. So comment down below and let your voice be heard. Now, if you made it this far in the video, hopefully you can excuse my clout chasing with the thumbnail and the title and the introduction. But hey, 2023 just started and I am excited for what is on the horizon for the home gym community. There's a lot of equipment that should be coming out and hopefully it will move the needle in terms of improvements from the current state of affairs of equipment in the home gym multiverse. If you made it this far in the video, you and I are officially best friends. Apple pie and ice cream, Dave Portnoy and pizza. Check out the affiliate links in the description. They do help out the channel. All proceeds, of course, go right back into the channel to create future content for you. As usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.